normal everyday german things that really surprise me really interested to see what kind of things we got here before we do i appreciate if you guys can hit that subscribe button uh, yeah let's jump straight into this and check out the things that surprise her in germany hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here it is so great to have you i'm antoinette a new zealander living in germany okay recently a few people have asked me antoinette do you ever run out of ideas when it comes to talking about germany and i can honestly say that no. I never run out of ideas and I don't think I ever will. I have got almost 10 years worth of Germany related content right here oh, and wow. I love to talk about okay. it and I love that you guys enjoy listening to it. So with that being said, in this video today I am going to be talking about everyday regular German things that really surprised me when I first moved to Germany. So cool. in no particular order, one of the things that I was very surprised about, almost shocked about, is the fact that the majority of Germans drive manual cars and oh. according to the research that you know what that might just be a european thing because so do we in the uk but a lot of more automatic cars are being driven now in fact my next car i'm probably gonna make sure it's automatic i just prefer automatic to mind you i ain't gonna lie but yeah that is the most popular in the UK as well. That I have done, it is about 90% of Germans that drive manual cars. Not 19%, wow. 90%. I'm the guessing in New Zealand is mainly automatic as well then, right? Because I, I know in America it's mainly automatic. This is something I found so surprising because around 90% of New Zealanders drive automatic oh, cars. Wow. And so better. for somebody in I New Zealand to drive a manual car, that is something really rare. You do not right. see that every day. The subject of driving in Germany is... I wonder why that is though i wonder why that is because when you think about it manual driving is just extra work bro <laughs> something that is heavily on my mind at the moment because as i've mentioned before i'm in the process of doing my german driver's license right and i could save this for a whole video of its own i will definitely be making a dedicated video on this subject but is for now i'm just going to be talking about the fact that i am learning to drive a manual car and uh -oh. this is like nothing for germans like everyone in germany right. learns to drive in a manual but in new zealand yeah, why you think about it right like learning to drive manual is so much more complicated than automatic because like the hardest part of the car like learning at the start was the gears I like always get it in the right gear, make sure you know you got the right biting point and stuff. So like, yeah. Yo, just let's just get rid of the manual. Let's just get rid of the stick, bro. <laughs> Hardly anybody does. Why do so many Germans choose to drive manual cars over automatic cars? This was the question I asked myself. I was so confused by this. Right? Because to me, logically, I think it's so much easier to drive an automatic it car is. where everything's done for you. And you know, why- Wait, Germans, let me know. For me in the UK, right, I've only drove manual, right? But my next car, I would really like it to be automatic. The reason why I've only drove manual is because like the availability of manual to automatic cars. Do you know what I mean? So when I was buying my car, my pre uh, the car that I have now, I couldn't get it in automatic. And I just instantly went with manual. Is that the same reason for you Germans as well? Add extra stress to your life and extra work when you don't really need to. I asked my husband True. this question because he's always driven a manual car. He's just used to it and he prefers to drive a manual. He said to me that oh, for him it. driving an automatic is boring and it takes the fun out of driving. <laughs> and he Yo, that does make sense actually. I'm not a crazy car guy. So... I don't have fun driving really, right? But I know a lot of car guys and a lot of car people, they they really enjoy driving and they would really enjoy using the stick, right? The driving manual, so that does make sense. He feels like when he's driving a manual, he has much more control oh, yeah, of the you, car yeah, and he has right. just like a better feel for the car. That makes sense. And so that was his answer. I would love to hear some of your answers in the comment section. So guys, the next regular everyday German thing that really surprised me when I first came to Germany was the concept of winter tires. Huh? I had never heard of this in my life before, winter tires. So in Germany, huh? for safety reasons, it is absolutely mandatory to have winter tires on your car car during the winter months so by law these tires in germany have to have a minimum of 1.6 millimeters tread depth yo how bad does the winters get in germany bro 
I, I, I honestly, I might need to get my tires checked. I can't remember the, in all of eight years. I can't remember the last time I've uh, changed my tires. But my car just passed all the inspections and stuff. So it, they are good. But I've never changed my tires. I've just had one standard tires on there. Yeah, we don't have to have like winter tires on. We don't have to change them in the winter. That's interesting. So these tires that just thicker, that better quality, you're less okay. likely to slip in extreme weather conditions. This does make sense because in Germany it snows and there is a lot more extreme weather in winter right. time compared to New Zealand. Um, it just surprised me because does I it snow more in Germany than the UK. Bro, the UK is higher up. <laughs> Surely we're cold in the UK and, and snow more. Then again, snow. We don't really get much snow anymore, I ain't gonna lie. I've never really heard of the concept of winter tyres. In New Zealand, they drive with just regular tyres all year round. So these tyres would be sort of the yeah, equivalent to the German um, everyday tyres, not the winter tyres. So I asked myself the question, why do Germans not drive all year round with winter tyres? That would definitely save them having to change their tyres over halfway through the right, year. Right, true. And my husband Rob said to me that winter tyres in Germany are very expensive. And so you want to save on those tyres and only use them when you really have to use them okay. and the rest of the time you drive with your less expensive yo changing the tires bro would just be so long wait do you guys in germany know how to change your tires do you do you actually change your own tires or do you take it to a garage to get changed regular tires so if you were caught driving without your winter tires in germany during the winter months you will be fined between 40 and 80 euros oh wow and also if you are in an accident without your winter tires during the winter months then your insurance company will most likely not cover you oh wow so it's very important that you drive with your winter tires in germany during the winter months yo okay. that would do my head in having to switch tires all the time man Yo. So moving on to a completely different subject. This is something that really surprised me when I first came to Germany, which is something that most Germans would think nothing of. It's just a regular everyday thing. And that is German shower heads. So the huh? majority of shower heads in Germany are removable shower heads. Okay. So in yep, Germany, the shower heads, they slip into like a little thing and you can stand up and have your shower and the water is pouring over you. Or right. you can grab the shower head and you can sort of, wash yourself with the shower head so you can actually take the shower head off the holder or what if I'm not explaining this very well yeah, in we New Zealand in the, the shower heads actually fix so you can't grab them they're not removable I'm not saying that all ah. shower heads are like this in New Zealand but I personally have never seen a removable shower head yo my shower that I have in this house is so nice bro so like I have a thick shower head but it's one of those circular ones. It's above like the shower. So like the shower is like a box kind of room kind of thing. And then like it's got a circular fixed one on the ceiling. And then it also has a handle one. So te technically, I got a, I got a mix of both. I got a fix and a removable one. You know what I mean? I, I could have two showers. <laughs> in New Zealand. So that was something I was like, well, I wasn't sure how I felt about it at the beginning. Right. Now I don't know how I could live without a removable shower head. I love it. It's just Wait, can you, in New Zealand, can you not even like move the shower up and down and stuff? Like, is it just fixed one way? so much easier to wash when it's removable you just grab it and you can like wash under your arms right, you yeah. can wash down here the when you're washing spots. your hair you can just like really get in there and the water's like right up you know in your hair and it's like really good pressure and i just love that and whenever i go back home to new zealand and i have a shower i feel like the pressure's not very good and i just want to grab the shower head but i can't yo good company idea for her to do she should start a new company installing removable shower heads hmm? go to people's doors tell them about your experience boom sold good and hey, that could be a good business idea over there man and so that is something that was really like an unusual concept to me when I first came to Germany I've grown to love it if you're watching this and you're from a country other than New Zealand or Germany does right. your country have removable or fixed shower yes, heads? Yes we do, I'm really interested to know. Okay guys so moving on to another subject, a completely different subject again. Now this is something that totally surprised me when I first came to Germany okay. and right now I probably see this on a daily basis in Germany. This is a regular 
everyday thing that you would see in Germany you don't even blink an eyelid. This is the older generation in Germany probably over the age of about 70 riding bicycles oh. and wow I just I thought this was amazing when I first saw this in Germany like this was something. Wait so a, a lot of the elder generation over 70 are riding bicycles? That's like a normal yo Bro, if I see that in the UK, I'd be very like, like, I'd be scared, bro. I'd be like, yo, I really hope, like, my grandma or granddad don't fall on the bike and break the leg, bro. You know what I'm saying? Wait, so does that just mean that Germany is like more of a healthier, fair, fair country? You barely ever see in New Zealand. Yeah, you don't see that in the UK. Older people riding bicycles. Yeah, you don't and see in that Germany, in Germany, the they not only ride bicycles, they ride without helmets and they go on long sort of bike treks. Yo. This is just something that is so normal cool, in Germany though. to see the older generation riding bicycles. And I think this is amazing. You know how the old saying goes, if you don't- That is cool. Like, what a good way to like keep yourself fit and healthy. You know what I mean? I, bro, I don't think I've ever seen someone past the age of 60 ride a bike in the UK, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Lose it, you lose it. And that is so, so true. I love to see the older generation just getting out there and being active and just enjoying life. And yeah, you just that. see this so often in Germany, at That's least cool. the area of Germany where I live. We have a lot of really nice bike tracks in our area of Germany that take you from town to town, village to village, city to city. And I think it is just a really great practical way to get around riding your bike. This is something I just love about Germany. The older generation, they just get out there on their bikes. It's cute. They make I like whole that. whole weekend of it. They'll go for big bike tours and oh, groups wow. and they'll stop for like little picnics along the river. And it's just something that is really normal to see in Germany. And I remember when my mum was staying with us, she commented about the fact that so many Germans, like older Germans, ride bikes. And I think that is so so cool and i hope that when i am like over 70 i will be active and riding my yeah i would say the same but i already know when i'm 70 i'm just gonna be like and a chair just broken down bro because like <laughs> yo if you told me to go on like a a couple mile bike ride uh bike ride right now i'll struggle bro never mind when i'm 70 man i'm like you know, I'm a lot weaker. Bike. I have even seen people over 80 riding bikes in Germany. How cool is that? What? So anyway, guys, that's all I've got for today. If you enjoyed this video, then don't- Yo, how many- I know a lot of Germans are watching these videos, right? How many of you lot are riding bikes? Is that just like a normal thing? Because in the UK, man, people need to start riding more bikes. Like, bro, the only people that ride bikes are kids. Kids used to. Now they just play games, bro. But kids used to ride them a lot. And then the people that like are proper into cycling. You know what I mean? Like the, the, the cyclists. They got the whole gear, the whole shaban. They're doing it for maybe competition. I don't know, bro. But yeah, you don't see it that often, people riding bikes. That was a very interesting video. Really cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on Twitch.tv forward slash L3WG. If you guys want to check me out over there. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.